on the newest episode of Common Guys. We're going to be talking WrestleMania and how I think the match should be pitched. The end of the bloodline. Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes. Jay and Jimmy versus Sammy and Kevin Owens. Night one should be Jimmy and Jay fighting against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. This match should go relatively quick. Um, it should be clean though. No interferences from Cody Rhodes or Roman Reigns. And at the end of the night, ultimately, it should be Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens winning the Universal Tag Team United Championship belts. When Kevin and Sammy win, the camera should cut to Roman Reigns sitting in the back. Very paranoid looking, very angry, and Paul looking worried for the tribal chief. I think Roman should then tell Paul to make a call. But we're, we as the audience won't know exactly who he's calling or who he wants to be by his side. For the next night. Because night two is going to be Cody Rhodes. Versus Roman Reigns. Night two. The epic match. Between Cody Rhodes. And Roman Reigns. I think this match should be. One of the most physical matches. Ever put by WWE. I think. Roman Reigns needs to. Look assertive and in charge. For the beginning of the match. But a lot of kickouts by Cody Rhodes. And as the match grows longer, I think you should see Roman get even more and more desperate. With desperation in Roman Reigns' eyes, the bloodline is going to come out. Cody Rhodes is going to face off against the bloodline and in a convincing manner take each one of them out. Even though he's getting hurt and beat up in the process. Roman Reigns is going to try to capitalize on this and spear Cody Rhodes. But Cody Rhodes is still going to kick out. It's going to be clear to the audience that Cody Rhodes is not giving up on his dream. Cody Rhodes is not going to fall to Roman Reigns' usual tactics. That's when Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens are going to come out. They're going to fight the bloodline. It's going to be chaotic with side fighting on the side of the ring and then throwing the bloodline into the crowds but ultimately what's going to happen is the bloodline is going to still keep the upper hand and take out Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn leaving Cody Rhodes again to face off against Roman Reigns by himself and that's when hope is going to truly be lost. Roman Reigns is going to look ultimately dominant. Cody Rhodes is going to be tired, exhausted. The bloodline looks unstoppable at this point. Roman Reigns is going to go for the final spear. Spear Cody Rhodes. The ref is going to count one, two, but Cody Rhodes still kicks out. And Roman Reigns is going to be furious at this point. And that's when The Rock's music hits. The Rock is going to come out with a steel chair. Hit each member of the bloodline and work his way to the ring. Cody Rhodes is going to be in shock. Roman Reigns is going to be in shock. The crowd is going to go wild. Once in the ring... Roman Reigns is going to yell to The Rock that he was supposed to help the Bloodline win against Cody Rhodes. But The Rock is going to rock bottom Roman Reigns. And Cody Rhodes is going to capitalize on that very opportunity and get the pin on Roman Reigns. Cody Rhodes then will celebrate with Kevin Owens. And Sami Zayn and The Rock. Inside of the ring. Roman Reigns is going to be laid out flat. And we're going to have a new 
champion for WWE. This sets up the feud for Rock versus Roman in SummerSlam. And then for Cody Rhodes, WWE Creative can choose a new opponent for him for SummerSlam. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Comment in the section below and let me know what your pitch would be for the end of the bloodline. Thank you for watching.